This is Twit. As we noted a few weeks ago, Telegram's founder and owner, Pavel Durov, was first detained, then arrested in France after authorities decided to hold him directly responsible for the many abuses known to be flourishing within the totally unmoderated and unfiltered protection of Telegram's service. Well, France's strategy appears to have worked, since Telegram recently made some waves by amending its privacy policy and agreeing to comply with court orders requiring it to share its users' phone numbers and IP addresses with law enforcement. So Telegram's cooperation will now extend to various criminal investigations expanding beyond the previous limit of only helping in terror-related offenses. And as you might imagine, the, uh, the exodus has actually been something to behold. I saw a couple articles saying that, you know, the, the bad guys were jumping ship uh, at, at, in, in large numbers. So good, good. riddance. Good. Yes. Yeah. That's exactly and what I, we And I'm want. glad to hear it because I like Telegram and I, I would like to use it without feeling bad about it. Yeah. And yeah. I, I would argue that as long as you're, I mean, okay, so we know that we have privacy absolutists, right? Who ab, who absolutely feel that that zero consequence of using the internet in any way they choose should be their right. Unfortunately, they're using somebody else's platform. I mean, and we've talked about it, for example, employees in a corporation. What you do on the company network with the company computer is the company's property and the company has some responsibility for. So, you know, you, you know, as, as we've said, it'd be a good thing to have a little sign posted on the top of the, of the, of the computer screen saying, remember what you do on this network should not be considered private. You know, it's not your network. It's, it's your employer's network anyway. So, uh, yes, goodbye. Really, really bad cretins from telegram. <laughs> We will not miss you. Yes, we will not. Not at all. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Security Now. If you want the whole show, you can get it at our website, twit.tv slash SN. Of course, you can subscribe to Security Now on your favorite podcast, or just click one of the links below. Security Now.